Welcome back to Flotsam. So you start off with a choice between the SSG or the rocket launcher. I go with the rocket launcher. Then just grab resources. Shells, rockets. Don't grab that megasphere quite yet. Go up by the Mankey Boy so you can get an armor. Press this switch in the meantime because why not? And the main thing you want to do here is make the Revenants infight with the Mankey Boy. Since this is going to be basically another infight fight while we deal with the pinkies on the floor. The pinkies start spawning behind you right as the map starts and there are a lot of them and that's why I choose the rocket launcher. You can just clear them out quicker. That's basically all you do. Dodge projectiles while killing pinkies and let stuff in fight. Once enough Pinkies have cleared out though, you can go back around to the uh, to where you started, which will happen in a minute, here, right now I believe. Going back to the pedestal lowers the bars, so you can then grab the other weapon that you uh, couldn't get at the start, but also grabbing the SSG makes the bars raise where the rocket launcher was, which is crucial. You'll see why. That was kind of a mistake. Getting stuck on that torch made me eat a few rev missiles. When you drop low, grab the Megasphere, it spawns a few Cacodemons. You can also make them in fight with uh, some of the Manx, revs, whatever you want. Pinky got stuck in the bars there, that was funny. Here I'm just making the last of the revenants in fight with the uh, the Mankey Bai. Along with pulling the Kakademons over. But yeah, the Manx will basically always win. They are much more powerful. Once all the Manx and revs die, or at least most of the revs, then you can start cleaning up. And clean up with SSG, because you want to save those rockets for later fights. Even though it's actually not that big of a deal. Yeah, it's a bit of a boring cleanup, I apologize. And then once you're over on... Once all the revenants have died, you can press this switch. And jump over to the platform with the plasma. Now here's where the map gets really weird. So you get a bunch of rockets, you get cells, the plasma. Those cacodemons are just stuck there. I don't know where they come from, but... They're unkillable for now. But then you could just take the... You could just drop down, grab some rockets, and take the teleporter. And then you're back on the main island. Hitting the switch spawns a ton of archviles and pinkies back at where you started the map. And I have no idea how to do this fight. I assume the intended way is to stay on the platforms, but... You have zero cover. So... The art, you would just get zapped by the archviles over and over and over. So I... This this fight is very confusing. I... The only strat I could find is just take the teleporter back. Now a similar fight is on this platform over here with the BFG. I grab the cells first so I can have more... I mean, I grab this plasma first so I can have more cells to uh, spam BFG. So what I do, grab BFG, supercharge, more rockets in the in the uh, blood floor. It's like the rockets are there to tell you, hey, you can take this teleporter if you want. It's not blocked off or anything. It's super confusing, but this time it's just cacodemons and pain elementals. And this is basically the rest of the demo, just rocketing <laughs> cacodemons. Yeah, the start- okay. The starting fight in this map is pretty fun. I do like 
having to dodge all the projectiles while focusing on the pinkies on the floor. But then these two fights are just weird. And feel free to use pain, uh, BFG on pain elementals, lost souls if they're starting to crowd you. Because rocketing lost souls is always scary. But yeah. The speedrun for this map is actually quite impressive though. It's literally just press the switches as quick as possible and then start both fights while uh, enemies from the starting fight are still going at it. Maybe that's the intended way to play. I have no clue. This map is extremely weird. Also, there's another uh, green armor on the side with the revenants if you start to run low. There's also a secret mega armor that I really should have grabbed just to save a little bit of time. But that's okay. This is the last Kakademon of the fight, the last four enemies. You saw that uh, Kakademon's opened up when you grabbed the Megasphere. Same thing happens with the Invuln but with pain elementals, so those are the last four enemies. But first I just grabbed the secret mega armor, because I missed that. And then, grab the invuln, drop down, back down on the blood floor, and just BFG those pain elementals, and that's it. This map is super, super weird. I am not sure what to think of it. Uh, don't get me wrong, this map is still pretty fun, I really like it. I also do like the MIDI quite a lot as well, and uh, it's very beautiful as well. I really like the uh, the light sequence out outside the map, you might have seen it with the uh, flesh and the fire blue. I'm a really big fan of that light sequence, that looks super cool. But just, it plays so weirdly, and it's so, it feels like... I completely cheese this. You can... Okay. For the Cacodemon and Pain Elemental fight, you can definitely do that fight from the platform if you have a BFG plus the, uh, the cells from the Plasma platform. You can definitely do that fight for sure. I didn't because I hate Pain Elementals. You know this by now. But it just... the Even the rockets on the floor just make me feel like that's Benjo's way of saying, hey, just feel free to take the teleporter. I, I don't know. This map is very weird. And yeah, I think I'm just going to end it there. Uh, I don't know if anyone plays this any differently, but if anyone does, feel free to let me know. And uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it for me. Thank you so much for watching. And have a good one.